as you may have noticed the title of this file which is 0505 nested f a genie with three wishes very interesting the title is interesting because the formula that we are going to use is also very interesting and on the same lines the title is the data is same the scenario is same the company wants to distribute bonuses to its employees on the basis of their performances they have tried these many number of times with different techniques and still they are not satisfied with the result but at the very end they say we are okay with the very first result that we have came up with i'll show you the formula again we have discussed the very first condition as the total performance the maximum total performance could be 30 so the company decided that if a person get 15 or more than 15 the person will be qualified for the bonus now the problem is if my score is 15 and your score is 30 we both are qualified for the bonus but still we have a huge difference in our performances so that is why it would not be fair to distribute the same amount of bonuses so that is why company says that let's introduce a grading system whosoever gets the highest grade will get the highest bonus i'll show you the grades these are on the right hand side of this worksheet you can see that if a person's score total score rather between 0 to 5 the person will get f grade if it is between 6 to 10 the person will get e 11 to 15 grade will be d 16 to 20 it will be c 21 to 25 b and 26 to 30 a because the maximum score could be 30. so let's do this beautiful example and this is the kind of formula that we are going to use will be very helpful in your work so let's start the formula and follow me just concentrate on the on this video because i just want to ask few questions during the video and i want your input so just pay attention so i'm going to start the formula with equals to and i'm going to write if i'll open up the formula by pressing tab so the logical test the condition the condition is that if total performance is less than equals to 5 i'm writing less than equal to 5 which means 0 to 5 comma if this condition is true the person will get a grade as f so i'm going to put it in double quotes i'll press comma now just have a look i'm standing on which argument that is value if false so this is the last argument that i'm standing on but still i have five more grades which are left with me to put it in this formula but i do not have much arguments with me so somehow there is a lack of arguments if you followed till now the course you may have come across the sum sum if and sum if formula we have used or applied sum if formula when there was only a single condition on the basis of that i wanted to do sum but when we faced multiple conditions and we wanted to do sum we have used sum ifs which is sum ifs so technically we need not to use an if formula in this case we have to use a formula ifs that is ifs because we have multiple conditions with us but the catch is we do not have an ifs formula in excel so that is why we have to go with a formula only now here comes the title which is a genie with the three wishes so i'll tell you a small story that one day a kid got a genie and the genie said that you have three wishes with you just ask me so the kid said that okay my first wish is that i want a very big bungalow my second wish is that i want a very beautiful car so jenny said that what's your third wish now the kid scratched his head and he replied 
that I want three more wishes. I know you got the way that where that kid was going. You know that kid used to have more than three wishes and the genie was giving him only three wishes. So he came up with that answer. Now just have a look at this formula. If is just behaving like a genie for us. In this case, it is giving us three arguments, which is basically the kind of three wishes that Ginny was giving to that kid. Now that kid consumed the first two wishes and he was standing on the third wish when he replied that answer. We have already consumed the first two arguments and we are also standing on the very third, the last wish or the argument. Now we must think in a very smarter way and we want that Ginny or this if to give us three more arguments. And how this if will give us three more arguments? I'm going to put if again and I'm open the bracket and there we go. We have the three wishes or the three arguments with us now. Interesting? Yes. But that is just one part of the formula that we have covered till now. We have a couple of things to understand more in this formula. The second thing that we need to understand comes now. Just concentrate and answer me the question that I'm gonna, going to ask you right now. Here I'm going to say that again total performance is less than equals to 10. If this condition is true, the person will get E as a grade. What do you think about it? Is this is true? Is this is okay with you? No, because it must be 6 to 10, isn't it? Else, if my score is 4, I do not know. I am confused that what I'll get. Because 4 is less than 5 also and it is less than 10 also. Maybe I'll get F or maybe I'll get E. So that is why maybe this statement is not correct. But let me explain you one thing. This statement is perfectly fine. If I'll get 4, I'll definitely get F. If I'll get 8, I'll definitely get E. Reason being, I would want you to focus on the syntax again. In this syntax, just have a look. The syntax says logical test, value if true and value if false. If my logical test is G5, which is total performance less than or equal to 5. And if this condition is true, the person will get F. So if my score is less than or equals to 5, it means the condition is true. So that is why I'm going to get F and the formula will close down there only. It will go to the next part, which is value if false when the value if not less than or equals to 5. It means if my score is 6, it means that the condition is false and I'll not get F and it'll jump to the next argument which is F, the next F. So this is how this chain will carry on. I hope this is clear to you. So again, we are standing on the last argument. Let's carry on this chain further. And I'm going to say again if because I need three more arguments, I have a lot of grades still left with me. So this is how I'm going to carry on this chain. So I'm going to say again, total performance is less than equals to 15 comma. If this condition is true, it should be D correct. So just speak up, speak up at your end and just match what I'm going, what I'm trying to do right now. It will help you to understand better. So speak up the formula at your end. So I'm going to say again, if correct, total performance is less than equals to 20, grade will be C, yes. Again, if I'll press tab to open up the formula, I'll say again, the total performance is less than equals to 25, the grade will be B, comma, again if, no, if is not required now. Why? 
because we are standing on the last argument which is value if false and we have only one argument to put it in so what i'm going to say that if it is less than equal to 25 the person will get b else the person will get a it means what if this condition is false the person will get a it means more than 25 anything and we know that the upper limit of the scores that these people are getting is 30 so it will automatically create a range which is more than 25 up to 30 which is 26 to 30 i hope this is clear to you the last point which is not least the number of brackets we have opened we have to close them down one by one there are a couple of things that people follow one is the color of the parenthesis if i start closing down the bracket you will see the color will match also the very first and the last parenthesis is always in black color so it would be easier to find out that one the technique that i follow is about the syntax as i've discussed earlier in my previous videos that when you open up the formula only then you can see the syntax and we, when you close down the brackets when you close up close down the formula you will not see the syntax anymore so the technique that i follow is that i'll close down the brackets till the time this syntax vanishes so just have a look just follow my lead i'm gonna close down the brackets now so here we go the first bracket that i'm going to close now one two three four five and gone it means we are good to go and you can see the colors are also matching as well as the last and the first one is in black color so when i'm going to close down the bracket i can see the result which is b so if the total performance is between 21 to 25 over here you can see the person is getting b so it means this one is correct and let me change the result for you if i change it to 4 as we're discussing while writing the formula the status should be f because 4 is between 0 to 5 and let me press enter yes there we go so it is changed to f so i'm going to undo it by pressing ctrl z so there we go we have the answer if i press f2 i just want to show you that the formula is a bit lengthy but it is very logical and very easy to understand I know it will take some time to understand it and you also need some practice. That is why we have practice files for each and every video to help you out in doing that right away. So I'm going to press enter and to copy and paste it down, I just double click on the right bottom corner of the cell and there we go. We have results for all, the, all of them. Now I would want you to open the exercise file of this 0505 so that you can do the exercise by yourself and follow the next video to get the answers to match it. Thank you.